Hey YouTubers, um, I want to share with you a little project I've been working on. I've seen a few guys doing this on uh, YouTube and uh, I just thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, what I did is I picked up this battery box at uh, Walmart and uh, made myself a little power station. What I did is I, you can pick up this box at uh, Walmart for like, I don't know, 8 or 10 bucks. Um, and I bought a battery for it and the inside we have a 12 volt car battery. Um, I put a uh, 400 watt um, power inverter on the top. Um, they didn't have mounts on it, so what I did is I used this uh, double-sided tape. It's an automotive tape. Um, I guess you can use it for car emblems and stuff like that. It sticks on really well. Anyway, I ran a strip across the bottom on each side, and it's on there. ain't going nowhere. Um, I got the power leads going right into the back here. You can see that. Positive and negative. And um, I got two 12 volt plugs here, car style, cigarette style, I should say, cigarette lighter style plugs here. And let me open this up here. Those are the leads up there, right there, to the power inverter. And these are the leads going in. I got a, in the line, I have a 30 amp fuse going from the pot on the positive side. It goes right to the positive here in the battery, and the negative, of course, the negative. The two 12 volt plugs here, I got uh, both tied into one negative in here, this ground. I think there's a 12 gauge wire. If you want something pretty hefty, at least 12 on there. Um, and then each each one of those plugs also has a 10 10 amp fuse. If I can open that uh, in each one, so you don't go burn any wires. Um, and right here, I put a quarter twenty threaded rod going through there. That's the only thing I can think of. It's to keep the battery from sliding back and forth. Um, and it gives me a little room here. I was thinking of putting a trickle charger. They got these small ones. Um, I thought about putting it in here and run the power cord out this the back. And uh, hooking up to the battery, and anytime you want to charge it, you just plug it in, and you keep it uh, keep it charged up that way. But right now, I'm using this guy here, and it works fine for what I what I'm using it for. Um, but anyways, I thought I'd share this with you. The battery was like 60 bucks at Walmart. The box was like like I said, I don't know, somewhere between eight and ten bucks. I picked these two up on uh, eBay uh, for like a buck each, but you can pick them up at an auto parts. Probably five or seven bucks somewhere on there. Um, what else? And these, all the rest of this stuff, you can pick up at any auto parts store. Um, even these here, uh, you can pick. I picked these these two here. I like them because it's got the, the wing nuts on them, um, so you can put everything on there. And I got these at Walmart too, so. Yeah, I could have went out and bought me a power station, but I didn't need the air compressor and the batteries they have inside those are not anything like this. This, I mean, this isn't anything massive, but it's a 450 watt cranking amp. It's uh, it's an automotive battery. They had some cheaper lawnmower style, uh, for lawnmowers I should say, but they were like I don't know 275 to 350 cranking amp, and yeah, they were 30 bucks, but I want something decent. I don't want something to drain quickly. Anyways, I can run, uh, I basically need this for my laptop. I'm an uh, amateur astronomer and I run my computerized mount with this and my laptop so I can um, record the, you know, what I'm viewing uh, uh, through the telescope um, for astrophotography. And that's basically it. Uh, you can use this for a lot of other things, running small appliances. This is a 400 watt uh, inverter if you want to stick a 750 or even a thousand watt inverter but I'd probably get a bigger battery if you did that uh, but you can run small appliances and you know small TVs and whatever if there's a power outage it's wonderful and that way um, you know you'll have power um, while other people are in the dark and uh, when it needs charging after a few hours or whatever uh, hook it up to your car run it for a little while charge it up and start using it again 
Anyways, I just thought I'd share it with you. It's, a, it's something nice to have at home in case there's a power outage or if you're like me and you need it for other little hobbies you have. Uh, it's nice to, to have a little power source uh, with you uh, to sm run small, um, you know, whatever you need it for, small appliances or laptops or whatever. All right, so uh, if you uh, can improve on it or give me some ideas or, you know, whatever, just let me know. Thanks, guys. Bye.